Okay, welcome back to my tutorial for Modern Warfare Online. And today we'll be talking about weapons, custom classes, and maps. We'll start off with maps. Ambush is good for long to mid range combat. It has a lot of buildings and stuff in the middle, but it's very good for long range combat, especially if you're using light machine guns. Backline is good for basically all weapons. It's, it's basically a great level for anything. Even snipers go there sometimes. Alright, moving on to the block. This is good for snipers as well as people who like to use uh, short range weapons here. So if you're going to go into the block, be sure you rem remember that. And also, you can also use a. Um, I guess I have an assault rifle there as well. Especially if you have a scope, that's good. Now this is good. This is a very open area, good for um, light machine gunners and uh, machine gun, basically any machine gun alike. Let's get as well as rifles, assault rifles will work here too. Countdown. This is another open area, very good for uh, light machine guns, which is what I like to use on this one. Light machine guns are any long range weapons, basically assault rifles and all that. Crash. This is another one that's good for long range weapons, but it's also good for mid range weapons. And I guess if you want to use short range weapons to, to like storm the buildings, I guess that's about it. Uh, crossfire. Good for long range weapons. Very good for long range weapons. And uh, that's all about it. I got to say. Snipers like to come here a lot, though. Good place to start sniping. District. Very good for short range combat short to mid-range combat I recommend here I use a shotgun and just go to town <laughs> downpour I go um, well I suggest mid-range weapons here because they work best you can also use a, a light machine gun or a submachine gun this is another one of those long-range places but it's very wide and very spacious so I wouldn't suggest sniper but if you're good at sniping then go for it Little this is really make up for cover here. Uh, another good one that's uh, good with long range weapons and snipers, very popular with uh, people who use assault rifles, I guess. There's even little tunnels that you can go. If you're able to navigate those tunnels, you'll win easily. This is mainly for uh, private matches. Showdown uh, short to mid range weapons works best here. Especially if you're using silencers with a short range weapon, it's good for that. Strike. Mid range weapons to long range weapons work best here. You want to have something to go into the buildings with. Because there's a there's a lot of them. Vacant. If you know how to navigate these corners, that's just using a short range weapon. But if you know how to navigate those corners, you'll win easily. Wet work. Now this is one that's excellent that's very popular with snipers. A lot of people come here with that, and it's very good for sniping. I, I average about 17 kills a game on this place with just a sniper. <sighs> but you can also use uh, other weapons with it too. Now we're going to start with our classes. You see, I used the uh, M4 carbine in the ACOG scope, it strengthened the range, and I got three frags, and juggernaut, and last stand. This is basically my survival class. This is what I, this is what I use if I'm if I don't want to die too quickly. <laughs> I guess that's what I wanted to say. That's basically your, uh, this is basically your uh, storming one right here. If you want to go into houses and stop snipers. This is basically my anti-sniper gun right here. Those of you who can't snipe or don't like snipers, I suggest using something a little similar to this. Bomb squad to keep... Um, so you don't want to run too many traps, UVA jammers, so they won't be able to see you, and smoke grenades. I use stun in that one, though. This is basically for uh, close, this one's basically for close quarters combat. I got juggernaut and stun grenades to make up for my lack of accuracy with the shotgun. Which is very good, because the shotgun doesn't have much accuracy at all, but it has a lot of damage. <laughs> and uh, extreme conditioning is good for running away. <laughs> Your opponent won't be able to really keep up with you with this one. Aside from its range, you can just run up and shoot someone. Now this is a good one for this is my long this is like my heavy assault, my long range murderer. 
uh, Bandolier, Sleight of Hand, and Martyrdom. The Sleight of Hand is basically pretty obvious for uh, because machine gun light machine guns are very hard to reload, very slow at least. And you want to use Sleight of Hand to quicken, step up the pace a bit. Martyrdom, uh, just in case anyone gets close to you. You also want to use a uh, steady aim as well, just in case. If you don't have martyrdom, use steady aim. That's the next best thing I can, to me at least. Now we move on to the sniper, I believe. <laughs> there we go. Now this is pretty basic. Got claymores just in case you want to camp. You got stopping power. You get that one shot, one kill, and iron lungs for longer sniper shots. Deep impact is also good for that too. This I use iron lung because you know I get better accuracy when I'm holding my breath. But for those of you guys who can just shoot without holding your breath, I do it sometimes. Now, uh, today's challenge is make a class suited to a specific ability or to a specific map. You can pretty much do any one of them. I suggest like grouping it up like your long range, your short range, and your mid range weapons. That's it for today, guys. Later.